Escute Rock FM. The range of premier electrical appliances just keeps growing and growing with more of the quality brands you love and trust. Morphe Richards, Russell Hobbs, Sharp, Dyson, Bosch, and not forgetting our two latest editions, Ninja and Shark. Pop into our Hlorica... Well, hello, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Nice bit of advertising there for Premier Electrical. Of course, to based on the coast road between Paphos and Paya. So if you're looking for a shark and you can't find one in the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, Premier Electrical is the place for you to go. And of course, they sell all sorts of other electrical items as well. I've got a feeling the Premier Electrical should be paying me, but they're not. Anyway, Cali Calimera to you guys and thanks for coming back to the little channel known as Marika and me and thanks for joining Mr Paul as he takes you on of his little drives very early in the morning by the way not a lot of traffic around which is a good thing because you can enjoy the views and all the spectacality of Paphos and I can rant that a little bit more and talk a little rubbish because I've got to concentrate on people who are stuck up my bottom. Now we're in downtown Tala and we're heading in the direction of Ember over the rooftops there and over the treetops you can most definitely see that blue 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 Mediterranean Sea and it really is a spectacality of a day indeed there's that word again Sir Jim cuddle up to Lady Amanda give her a kiss give her a cuddle because you will be getting on a big bird or a canoe and paddle like crazy to downtown Paphos very very soon indeed and there's a lot of people coming to Paphos and of course if you do see us why not come over and say that big big hello where more often than not as you may have noticed somewhere in and around downtown Paphos showing you one or two of the bits and bobs that are going on normally when we're finished we're sitting in the Pelican restaurant and we're waiting especially for you and last night we were joined by some superstars on the channel of course, that's our day man. She's the girl in charge of the show. Well, at the moment, she's on holiday in Papua, so she's not doing a lot other than uh, chuchuchka dancing and drinking a nice latte or two. We were also joined by the superstars who are all the way from downtown in Essex. Unfortunately, they're going home today. That's our Sir Steve and, of course, O'Mandy. And on top of all of that, we were joined by the Lord of Shropshire, and he brought his girl with him. And, of course, that's our... Lord Andy and Lady Ness and they're here for a bit longer so no doubt we'll see them once or twice again. So like I say if you do see us sitting around with a gang of well hooligans why not come and join us and join the fun and join the party. Pull up a chair, get yourself a drink and we'll become great friends and we'll chew the fat and find out all about you and of course you can ask us questions and we promise to answer you. Now big shout out to some of the guys that like to watch the show now and again. There is a young man and his name is Viscount James and he likes to tune in to the little channel and he said to his dad the other day, Daddy, can we drive to Paphos for the day? His dad said to him very cleverly, well perhaps not today, we might do it another day. And they're coming to Paphos next year and as I've said, well Sir Carl, Lady Rebecca, if that young man wants to sit in the passenger seat and do the talking, I'll do the driving and drinking of the latte and he can, well, chops away if he'd like. And you never know, he might even get joined by our new latest superstar member. And of course, that is my camp, Lorenzo. He literally is three days old as we speak. And I'll tell you what, I've seen pictures of him. He does not look cute. He looks, what I would say, cool in his little white suit. And I'm pretty sure he will be coming to Paphos in the next couple of years or so. And yeah, you never know, he might do the talking. Well, the gaggling as I drive around and show you the beauty and the spectacality of the island of love and in particular of course we are in Paphos. Now you might have noticed there's lots of big banners around advertising politicians and there's one there on the left hand side. Rumour has it that he is going to be the new mayor of Paphos. We've met him, he seems like a reasonable chap so well, let's wish him luck because you never know he could be the next greatest mayor in the world. Paphos is going places, there's no doubt about that. All the people that we've talked about, they've come and had a look at the place and they've said, yeah, Paphos is much, much better than it was before. We've had a bit of pain, unsettled work, shall we say. Lots of big diggerings have been going on, but in the end, it's going to be much, much better. And for you guys who've never been here before, you're in for a delight. You 
really, really are. Big shout out to Sir Marcus. Put your metal detector down and uh, listen up very, very carefully. When you come to Papos in October, you're in for a spectacality of a holiday indeed. And don't forget to come and hunt us down in and around the promenade or sit and wait for us in the Pelican restaurant because we'd like to have a chat with you, that's for sure. Now, we're heading into Uptown Paphos. So we've left Ember and we're now heading towards the main intersection on Masui Avenue. We're going to take a right and we're going to head down towards the Old Town. And again, this is another area of Paphos that's been rejuvenated. Brand new roads, lots of traffic lights and all those kind of things. But most importantly, brand new roads and new allocated parking and all those kind of things. So Paphos is definitely going places, there's no doubt about that. I understand one or two people have been to Paphos over the last year or so and, well, you know, we're never going to come again. It's terrible, all the big digging and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, those are negative people, aren't they? So, good riddance to see don't bother coming back. Go to somewhere like, I don't know, go to Tenerife. Perhaps Tenerife's better. Perhaps Lanzarote's better. Don't bother coming back. There you go, rant over. Now, the potholes are coming up now because this section of the road is on schedule to be dug up soon, so they say, because this is the kind of road that makes your, uh, well, your teeth drop out. There's no doubt about that. So if you've got loose teeth, don't come on this road. That's what I would say. Luckily for me, I'm all right. My dentist has made a couple of bob over the years, shall we say. There we go. And she's a she. Yes, there we go. Stop it now, Mr. Paul. Look at that sky, by the way. It is looking blue, isn't it? Everything's looking very, very blue in Paphos. I say early in the morning. What time is it now? 10 to 8 in the morning. Slowly, the traffic is starting to build up. Slowly, people are starting to get out of bed and think, hold on a minute, I'm going to go to work or I'm going to go shopping or whatever it is. So slowly, but surely. And the word is slowly in Cyprus, isn't it? Cigar, cigar. Talking about cigar, cigar. Have you got a cigar? Yeah, I have. A box of them, so it's okay. And who else is coming to town? Let me think. Lady Tracy. Yep, she's getting on a big bird today. And she'll be, well, prancing and down the harbour very, very soon indeed. And of course, the following day, we've got the Lord of the Martin. And he's bringing the smiling greatest accountant in the world. And of course, that is our Lady Victoria. So, rumour has it. We might get them on camera. So slowly but surely, if you keep coming back, you get to meet all of the other family members. In other words, all the other people that watch Murray Kremi, all the other people that are subscribed to the channel. We don't like the word subscriber, a bit of an American word, isn't it? So we use the word family members, if you are curious. So whenever you hear us say family members, we mean you guys. That's who we're talking about. Now, if you do like what you see, perhaps you are a family member, why not hit that like? And perhaps if you haven't already subscribed, why not subscribe to the channel? It doesn't cost you a single penny, but it does tell YouTube that you like what you see, and perhaps they should recommend the little channel known as Marika and Me to more like-minded people like yourselves. Smart people, yes. Much, much smarter than smart meters and all those kind of things. Anyway, if you'd like to gift us a cup of bob, if you'd like to keep the channel afloat, it's very, very easy to do. All you've got to do is Google these magic words. Buy me a coffee, totally safe, totally secure, platform. So buy me a coffee, Marika and me, and that will take you to our landing page. And of course, you can read down a little bit more about us. And of course, you can read a comment or two, and there are quite a few. You could be there a while, but hopefully, after you've read some comments, you'll feel a little bit parched, and you'll think, hmm, I think I might gift watching Rosita Booth, of course that's Marika, and Mr. Paul, a coffee or two. And of course we do thank you very, very much indeed from the bottom of our two hearts. It's your money that goes into the benzene tank, it's your money that keeps us driving around and popping down to the Cade of Patmos Promenade, making these little videos especially for you. You can also join us as a superstar member on the Buy Me A Coffee platform, as many, many people are doing. It only costs 10 euros a month. What do you get? A special title. Of course, privileges. And of course, you get yourself that little bit closer to Marika and me. You can also fund us via the comment section on YouTube itself. When you're about to write a comment, there's a heart-shaped little button with a dollar sign in the middle. You can hit that and gift us as little as 199 or as much as 500 You never know. One of these days, that Bentley could be coming. You keep Googling it, Dayman, because she fancies it as well. 
we're looking for a Bentley Blades for and one of these days, well, you never know. I've got to retire first, haven't we? So, this is that new road I was telling you about. It was finished, well, early this year, to be honest. Time's gone now, isn't it? Before long, you know, we're all getting older, aren't we? But this road was all redone. It was a nightmare for a year and a half or so, shall we say? But now, vast improvements, except for these little metal posts they keep putting on the pavements, because these are to restrict our parking. So, a bit inconsiderate from the local government, but there we go. We'll uh, tolerate it for a bit longer, shall we say. So, this is the road that heads now down to the old town of Paphos. So, stick with us, and uh, I'll give you some bearings along the way. And a big shout out to one or two of the people that like to watch the show now and again. And I'm thinking, who's coming to town very, very soon? Well, there's a girl named Lady Joanne, and rumour has it she's got a handsome hussy. Hussy? What's a hussy? Hubby, yes. Need a bit more of this hot lasso. She's got a handsome hubby, and of course, that's our Sir Baz. And legend says that they are coming to Pathos in about three weeks, and we will be waiting especially for you. There's a girl in downtown South Wales. She likes us to beam a little bit of brightness into her life every single day. And of course, that's our girl, Lady Whitney. Big shout out to you, and a big, big shout out to your partner in your crimes, and that's our Sir Jace. And of course, in town at the moment is the girl who celebrated that special, special birthday. Big, big Calimera to our Lady Sue, and of course, the partner in her crimes, Sir Dave. And hopefully, we'll bump into each other today, somewhere in and around downtown Kevin Paphos. This is the old town of Paphos, although lots of bits have been made new, but they've still managed to keep its charm and its character. So if you are coming to Paphos, wherever you may be staying, whether it be down by the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, or perhaps as far away as Agaka, why not get yourself on a bus or a taxi or walk and come to the old town and spend an hour or two. You'll be surprised about all the shops, some of them are tat shops, yeah. Some of them are at market shops, there's some nice jewellery shops. Watch out if your name is Sir Matt, but you drag him up here, Lady Sally, and you never know, you might get that special, special gift. There's also restaurants, there's cafeterias. It closes down after lunch, shall we say, but it reboots up again in an evening. So if you want to come to the old town, come early in the morning or come on an evening, particularly on a Thursday, Friday and a Saturday and you could be in for a great, great night out, no doubt about it. We're going to take a right and head down towards the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea to finish on a spectacality of a view indeed. As I say, if you like it, hit the like. Please hit that subscribe button and please don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. Andrea, what is going on? These lights have been on red for a long, long time. If I was you, I would stop playing around with your peacock and flick the switch to green. There we go, right on cue. Thanks very much, Lady Andrea, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you and that peacock. Of course, that is our Sir Mars in August. And there'll be Chichuchki dancing up and down the Kedipapas promenade and probably spending a lot of time in the La Royale restaurant because they're big mates with my mate, Mr. V. Could be the greatest manager of a restaurant in the world. Pop in and see him at the La Royale restaurant and you will get a spectacality of a meal, great service, and on top of that, quite a nice view to the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. That's it. I'm done now. I'm going for a coffee. Thanks for watching, and of course, hopefully, you will join me tomorrow. And my goodness, these potholes are absolutely Sherlock Holmes.